inside. I know it's him. He came back to finish what he started. He's going to kill me. No, I'm, I'm not sure that's... If you don't come right away, I'm calling the cops. No, don't do that. Chad, who are you on the phone with? Damn well better be the placebo treatment this time. It will not be another slip up. I discussed it with the nurse. Huh. Yeah, that's what you said last time when I submitted to the so-called treatment. I, I got really sick, lost a lot of hair. Would you have a little faith in your old man? I made my instructions quite clear. All right. I will double check if it'll make you happy. Thank you. No, Stephen. My son is going to get the special treatment that we discussed, is he not? Uh, don't worry, Mr. Crane. Uh, what happened the first time won't happen again. Ah. Everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Hey, I uh, dropped Maria off at home. I got here as quick as I could. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Um, hey, you're just in time, about ready to start the IV uh, medicine drip. No, um, oh, I know how much you hate that. I don't know what's happening, Fox. Why does it feel like my whole world's coming apart at the seams? Oh. Shh. Yeah, it's easy for Dr. Russell to say I need to spend another night in the hospital without being released. But I want to get home to my bride. To Tess. She must be going out of her mind, what with both of her brothers getting guilty sentences. I need to be with her. She needs the support of her husband. She needs me now more than ever. What? what? No, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this again. Did something happen or what? I'll be off in a second. You still there? You've got to come now, Chad. I just heard it again. Somebody's outside the house. I know it's Vincent. Okay, just calm down, okay? No, he's coming back to kill me. I just know it. If you won't come, I'm calling the police. No, no, there's no need for you to do that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. Oh, God, thank you. Okay, just please hurry. Please hurry. What is it? What's going on? It's, uh, it's no big deal. It has to be a big deal. I mean, you were completely freaking out, yelling at the person on the other end uh, of the baby, phone. Baby, I was just frustrated. You know, why can't my staff take care of a simple business problem without calling me at home at this time of night? That was the office again, babe. You just got home. Yeah, I know. Apparently, I left too soon. There's another emergency with the project. Well, it's not an emergency that can, you know, wait until the morning? Apparently not. That's why I lost my temper. Look, I gotta go there. I won't be that long, okay? Well, okay, fine. I mean, if you're gonna go to the office, I'm gonna go check on Teresa. No, you're not. We oh. talked about this. Yeah, listen, she's my best friend. She's devastated after her brother's oh. joint sentences. She needs to go right out there now. by yourself. Okay, fine. Then I'll come with you to the office. It probably won't take long, and then we can go see Teresa, and we can be together. How about that? Hey, look, I just think it'd be faster if I go and deal with it myself. And look, promise me that you're not gonna go out. You know, your mom wanted you to get some bed rest after the accident at the courthouse. Now, you've already taken some painkillers, so it should help you sleep. Teresa needs me right now, honey. Look, I'll take you to her first thing in the morning, I promise. Now, go to bed and get some sleep, okay? I'll try to be quiet when I come in. This is crazy. I mean, Teresa's my best friend. She needs me right now. I can't sleep anyway. I'm gonna call Alice to come over and watch my house. How did everything get so messed up? Oh, shh. No, 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 don't cry. Listen, Kay, love. It's far from a, from a sure thing, but you know, there's a real chance that these treatments, they, they might help to cure me. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you weren't thinking about me? 
You think about Miguel's life sentence? Sorry. It just shocked me, that's all. I mean, he's Maria's father, Fox. I tried to help him in my testimony. I know you did. I know you did. And it's not your fault. I just hope and pray that Ethan can get Miguel and Luis new trials. Me too. Uh, Kay, perhaps we should leave uh, Fox alone for his his treatments. I know he doesn't like to have people around when the side effects kick in. No, I don't mind staying. Uh, that's, that's right, actually. I don't, I don't want you to see me feeling sick. All right. Well, I'm not going to leave the hospital. I'll just go to the cafeteria and get some coffee or something. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, you really should control that temper of yours. I saw you about to pop when she mentioned Miguel. She's my wife, damn it. And she thinks I'm dying, but yet he's all she thinks about. Don't, don't, don't pull away. What are you doing? I'm not doing this. Don't you get it? We're repeating the same mistake that, that, that we did before Ethan, and it's going to cost Luis his life. I'm not going to let it happen. How can you say that? I mean, Luis, is, he's already being sentenced to death, and, and Miguel is being sentenced to life in prison, and, and you know why they're both being railroaded, Ethan? Yes, because of the blackmailer. No, because I know of that... me, Ethan, because I ignored the blackmailer's stress, because I couldn't stop my feelings for you, and I actually ended up making love to you, even after I married Jared. No, I'm not going to do this. We can't let this, this, this monster win. We can't, can't... we can't fight this monster, Ethan, who has enough power to control Judge Riley. We can't let him win. How we are we going to stop we... them, okay? We, we don't know if it's a guy or a girl. We don't know the person's name. We don't know where they're located. We know one thing. We know that we love each other. And I know that that's stronger than any kind of evil that this he, she can try to perpetuate around this town. No, trying. No, succeeding Ethan royally. I, for some reason, this, this he, she knows everything that I do. And no, we're not going to do this. It's too risky. But, uh, hey, think, just think about what's going on here. This sick pervert has already done the worst thing he can do. We don't what know more that for happen? sure. Ethan, what if he does something else to us? I'm not going to let my life be driven by fear. Do you love me? You don't have to ask me that. Then there's your answer. I think together, you and I, we can overcome anything. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. Don't answer it. I need to. Mm. It could be oh. about Louisa McDonald. Hello? Tess? That's me. Jared, where are you? <laughs> where else? My damn hospital room. Oh. I heard what happened with Lisa McGowan. I'm so sorry. I hate the fact that you have to go through this alone. Hey there, handsome. You dirty, rotten son of a... Now, now, now. What's wrong with you beating up on a woman? Leave Valerie alone. Go your jets, Chad. Who the hell I will? What kind of low life hits a woman? You know, if you didn't want to be with Valerie, you should just let her be. I didn't like the way she talked to me. Why? Because she was going to call you out for cheating on her? You have some nerve. I thought that's one of the things you liked about me. Besides, I didn't beat her up. I saw her face. Her cheek was swollen. So our conversation got a little physical. Right? It wasn't any big deal. You make me sick. Now who's lying? You know, I scraped bottom when I met you. Yet you still keep coming back for more. You know, you hurt my feelings knowing that you would take the word of a woman over me. You know how they exaggerate. I heard you arguing from here. Lovers argue. We know that. But at least with us, it always ends well. Get away from me. Telling you, getting worked up won't solve anything. Well, that's rich coming from you. When Eve left you for TC, you became homicidal. Well, which is why I know it doesn't work. All it does is backfire and send a woman you love running to the other man. Oh, Kate doesn't have to run to Miguel. It's the way that she looks at him when they're together, the way she talks about him when they're not together. I'm her husband, but guess what? You would never know it. Patience, my son. Patience will be rewarded. To hell with patience. All right, I want my wife to act like she loves me. She does love you. She married you, didn't she? She married me because she thinks that I'm dying, but that's still not enough. Keep your voice down. She may be back here any moment. I really thought 
that once we framed Miguel for my attempted murder, that she would just wash her hands of him and commit to me. But no, it's done just the opposite. She's even more obsessed with him now that he's been given a life sentence. And he's only been behind bars for a few hours. Give it a few weeks. It is very difficult for a relationship to thrive when two people are separated by steel bars. God, you're going to win. You're going to have everything you ever wanted. Now stop doubting yourself and start enjoying life. I mean, remember, you're a crane. Cranes always prevail. Poor Tess. You must be so upset. Sounds like Jared. I've been going out of my mind wondering how you're doing. I'd give anything to hold you in my arms right now and comfort you. Um... I'm actually more worried about my mother, you know. Um, obviously, she's not taking this very well. I can imagine. What about you? I'm going to be okay. <laughs> so you don't have to say that to me to make me feel better. I know how much you have sacrificed to clear your brother's names. If I could get out of this hospital tonight, I would. Uh, no, no, Jared, you don't need to do that. You need to follow the doctor's orders, okay? I just can't stand the thought of you going through this alone. I want you to know that even though I can't hold you in my arms, I'm with you in spirit. I know that. You know, we're not, we're not going to take the senses lying down. We're going to fight to get both of your brothers retrials. Have you talked to Ethan about that yet? Um, yeah. Yeah, actually, I have. He's um, going to file an appeal. Good. Look, the most important thing is that you know we're going to get through this. Together. I miss you, Tess. I miss you, too. I was kind of hoping you'd come down so I could comfort you in person. Well, you know, I actually um, took my mother home, and uh, it was late, and honestly, I was exhausted, so I just wanted to get home, you know? Oh, sorry, were you in your bed? I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, no, I, I wasn't sleeping. Well, I have some good news. I'm scheduled to get released from the hospital tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? Well, yeah, I told the doctor you'd pick me up. Of course. Well, thanks. Um, you know what? Actually, Jared, I'm sorry. Whitney just got here, and is it okay if... Oh, no, no, yeah, it's... I'm glad you have your best friend there. Well, it's the next best thing for me. <laughs> Send her my love, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I love you, Tess. Love you, too. Well, you must be tired, too. A little. I'll dream of you. Night, Jared. I'm a horrible person. You're not a horrible person. Yeah, well, you know, I, I see that I've kind of come at a bad time, so... No, no, I... don't, don't mind me. I'm sure Teresa is glad to see you. Yeah, I am. How are you feeling? I'm okay, but I, I, I came here because I was worried about you, you know, after the sentencing and everything. But, you know, I can see you've been consoled already, so why don't I leave you two alone, really? No, no, no. I, I want you to be here, please. Look, why don't, why don't I go get something to drink downstairs and, uh... You two can have some time alone to talk, okay? Yes, thank you. Do I even need to ask why Ethan is here? What does it look like? It looks like you've lost your mind. I know. I know I'm a married woman. Well, let's just forget about Jared for a second. I'm worried about the all-seeing, all-knowing blackmailer. I mean... I thought you would have learned your lesson. He told you, you have to stay away from Ethan, and here you are with him again. I know, Whitney. I know, I know. I just... I love him. And he loves me, and we actually have this chance to be together, and we can't. It's just... It's not fair. Now, how am I supposed to stop loving the one man that I've always wanted? Hey. Am I interrupting? No, I just... 
got off the phone with my wife. I know. I heard. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I just heard you say Tess. I was just actually on my way back to Fox's room. How's he doing? He's okay. He uh, had to check himself back in. You know, he has to take these really awful treatments for his illness. So He hates it, but it's pretty much the only hope he has to buy him some time. I'm sorry. It must be difficult knowing your time's so limited. Yeah. How are you doing? Well, it could be better. You know, it's kind of rough being stuck in here in Tess's time of need. Uh, I'm guessing you were there at the sentencing today. Yeah. It's probably the worst day of my life. Can't believe they found Luis and Miguel guilty. I <laughs> just can't believe it. You know, and to sentence them so harshly before Ethan could prepare an argument for leniency, it just makes me so mad because I know those guys and, and neither one of them has ever committed a crime in their lives. Don't worry. These sentences aren't going to stick. Teresa's still in control of the crane money and pull. And she's going to fight to get both of her brothers retrials. I hope she can. Because <laughs> if not, Luis will die. And Miguel will spend the rest of his life in prison. It's just not fair. You're here for Fox, but it's Miguel who you're in love with, isn't it? Why would you say that? Well, I'm not, I'm not judging here, but I, I could tell by the look on your face when you say his name. Or when, when you think of him spending his life in prison. It's Miguel you're in love with. It's obvious. At least to me. I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> but you're right. I am in love with Miguel. Not the man that I'm married to. And I've just been the worst wife in the whole world. You know, I've made some beauties of mistakes in my life, but none as bad as getting involved with you. Now I curse the day that I met you. Stow it, Mr. Self-Righteous. You know, you love what we have together. You've loved it from the first I night. I am that disgusted you... by it, and I don't know what possessed me. <laughs> you know, that might work for a one-night stand. But it's lame as hell when we both know how many times you've come back for more and more. And don't remind me. No, I'll remind you. And keep on until you admit it. You know what I think? I think I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> you are delusional. No, yeah, yeah. You were the picture of a repressed, uptight, conflicted guy the night I met you. Didn't know whether you were a homeboy from the streets or a newly crowned crane prince. I showed you who you really are. You don't know a damn thing about me. <laughs> and everything you showed me are all things I want to forget. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't work that way, you see. You've heard about uh, Pandora's box. I want you no. out of my life, Vincent. And I'm going to ask you. You leave me and the people I care about alone. And you leave Valerie alone. She didn't do anything to you. What's the difference? You know, she seems to be one of the many ways that I can get to you. Not that I need to try too hard. You know, you want me as much as you hate me. Mm -hmm. Now, you can walk away, call me a rat bastard, you know, even go to confession every Saturday afternoon and spill your remorseful guts to some priest. It's not going to excise the temptation. Like it or not, Chad, I'm under your skin. And I'm staying there. The hell you are. Here's what else I think. You pretend to act so tough and angry, but it's all part of the push-pull game we play so well together. You pretend to push me away just to see how far you can go and keep me coming back for more. That's okay. I like hard to get. Makes what happens between us more fun. Me. <laughs> Took you long enough to say that. That's more like the chat I know and love. How many times I gotta tell you love has nothing to do with you and me? Yeah, deny it all you want. I know how I make you feel. It's not too late. Let's take this to the motel. <laughs> Forget it. I know you want to. Come on, I'll help you make an excuse for the little woman. I said no. All right. Your call. You know, if it's more important for you to say no, 
than to have your dirty little secret exposed to the world, fine by me. Yeah, I wonder if they let you keep the key to the executive men's room at Crane, if they knew what you like to do in your spare time. Don't you threaten me. It's so easy to keep me quiet. Now, all you have to do is meet me at our place. I've got the other one. Meet you there. Oh, unless you want to be a no-show and have all hell break loose in your life by morning. Damn it. What am I going to do now? I'd rather see you feeling better. Yeah, much better. Uh, but you can't let Kay see you like this. It'll arouse suspicion. She is supposed to think that the treatments are making you feel sick. Oh, don't worry. I know just how to put it. I'll be a sick little kid when she comes back in here. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. So in the meantime, I am absolutely famished. Can you get me something to eat from the cafeteria? You're not supposed to have an appetite. Well, if I don't get anything in my stomach, I'm not going to be able to play the part. I didn't have a chance to grab some dinner, so could you just get me something? All right, fine. I shall return. <laughs> Jared, it's okay. I'm fine. Really. Sure? Yeah. Yeah, I just... I don't know how things got out of control like this. Or, or why. I mean, I thought I was doing the right thing by marrying Fox, but... But you're in love with Miguel. And now, and now he's being convicted of Fox's attempted murder. I mean, and, and there's a really good chance that he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail. And I just... I feel so guilty from wanting to be with him. Well, relationships are tricky enough with it's just two people involved. And I swear, Jared, I never meant for it to get this way. I tried so hard. I, I tried to push Miguel away so that I could be loyal to Fox. It just wouldn't work. Every time I see Miguel, I, I realize how much I love him. Well, there's only one thing you can do. Tell Fox and... Get a divorce? Be with Miguel even if he is in prison. I wish it was that simple. Yeah, it is. And for the longest time, Tess was still obsessed with Ethan. And I thought she'd never get past it, but she did. In the end, she chose me and became my wife. She realized that I'm the number one man in her heart. Not Ethan. Mm -hmm. of everything with me. And you know, it wouldn't be so bad if it were just me, but I ruined Luis and Miguel's life. Luis is being sentenced to death because of me. Okay, you have to stop. Seriously. You know, beating yourself up, it, it's not going to help anything, okay? Well, you know what? It's the truth. I mean, the blackmailer told me to stay away from Ethan, but I disobeyed him and went. And I ended up, like, sleeping with him, Whitney. Somehow, the blackmailer found out, and that's why Luis Miguel's trials were moved up. That's why Ethan didn't have a chance to defend them in court. I'm sorry, honey. I, I wish I really knew what to say here. I just... I don't want you to hate me. Of course I don't hate you, honey. I just want you to be safe. I want you to be okay. I want you to try to stay away from Ethan, honey. No, me too. I'm trying. I tried. I just, I, I can't do it. I can't resist him. Well, this isn't exactly the first time you've given in to temptation, okay? You, well, it's the first time that my brother's futures were at stake. And what, what, I'm back at it again. I just, I can't. I can't stay away from him, Whitney, no matter what. I just can't. Okay, just try to keep it together, all right? I'm trying. No, I... But he did. He even made a, he made a good point. I mean, he said that the blackmailer has done his worst. So, so now we should fight the blackmailer together. Okay, wait a second. We don't know that this is the worst that the blackmailer can do. All right? And, and even if Ethan is right, what about the not-so-small detail of your husband, Teresa? I know, Jared. I know. Yes, Jared. What did you say to him on the phone just now? Uh, he was just... Was, he was telling me that he wanted to be with me, you know, and... God, you know I feel terrible about cheating on him, Whitney. I well, do. Well, not terribly enough, apparently. Well, I, 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 look, I, I, I care about him. I do, I do. But it's Ethan I love. You know that. 
You know what? Ethan is right. I think there's only one thing to do. I think I just need to tell Jared that I don't want to be with him. I think that Ethan and I should just go public with our relationship and we should find this creep who's blackmailing us and, and bring him down. Okay. Are you sure this is what you want to do, though? Yeah. I mean, I love Ethan with all of my heart and soul, and honestly, I can't let him go, no matter how hard I try. Open up his chat. Oh, thank God. Did you see him? Did you see Vincent? Um, no. No, I didn't. But I heard talking outside. I know I heard talking. There were some kids on the sidewalk. You probably heard them. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. And I know it was Vincent. I, I, I heard him breathing outside of the door, and I smelled his cologne. Well, he's not here now. And I am, so you're safe. For the moment. Look, I'll check around the house on my way out, but I can't stay. Whitney's expecting me home. But I don't want to be alone. I'm so scared. All right, did you... Did you lock all the windows? Yeah, everyone. Okay, well, he can't get in here, so you're safe now. And I'm uh, sure he's going to leave you alone. How can you be sure? I just am. Oh, hey, Valerie, look, I really have to go, okay? I'm sorry, I'm being such a scaredy cat. I just, I don't trust that he's not going to come back. Well, you just call me if he does, okay? Maybe I should just call the police. No, no, no. You call me, I'll come here and I'll chase him away. I promise. Be straight with Fox. And it's gonna be tough, but it's the right thing to do. I know, but I mean, how do I tell him that I made a mistake when I married him, and that that I'm in love with the man he thinks tried to kill him? And he's dying, you know. And, and no matter what I say or do, Miguel could still spend the rest of his life in jail. Is well, that gonna stop you from loving him? No, but I just I can't do this to Fox right now. He's just been going through so much, and he. And taking these horrible treatments, and you know what? They may not even prolong his life. Like, all I know is if I were Fox, I'd want to know the truth. And from what I see of the guy, he can handle it. You can't handle this, this, this lie that you've got bottled up inside of you. That's for sure. You can't let your fear hold you in a relationship that's bad for everyone. you got to be brave here. You know, you're right. You're right. I, I can't do this anymore. It's, like, it's driving me nuts, so... You're right. I should go tell Fox right now. Would you hurry it up? I didn't see Kay in the cafeteria when I was down there. She could be back here any moment. Mm, this is so good. Did you get me any fries? But you're the one who's going to be fried if Kay catches you stuffing your face like a pig. Chill, Dad. I'm almost done. Listen to me. You are supposed to be a dying man. <laughs> if this is dying, bring it on. Wait, okay. Wait. Oh, yeah. <sighs> How's this? How's this? Uh, uh. Terminal, son. Terminal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess there's really nothing left to say. You know, you've made up your mind. I just really wish you hadn't married Jared. Me too. I've ruined his life as well. Not yet. Not until he finds out you don't really want to be his wife anymore. Yeah. That's just not fair to Jared when it's Ethan that I love, right? Sometimes I have to say, you know, I'm glad I'm not in your shoes. Well, you had to tell me to follow my heart and be with Ethan, right? Yeah. Before you married Jared, you know, but now that you two are married, I I don't know how I feel about that whole thing, you know? I know, I know, but you know what? I know how I feel. I love Ethan, and you know what? He's right. We need to stand up to that blackmailer and fight him together. Ethan doesn't even know why you're being blackmailed. Not really. And you don't want to tell him the truth, right? It's, uh, it seems like there always has to be lies, you know? It, I know. I just... I don't know how to tell him that little Ethan is our son. No. But I am going to start by ending one lie right now. What is it? I mean, what happened besides the horrible accident at the courthouse? Well, 
Do you remember when we were um, at the seascape with Vincent, waiting for Valerie to show up for dinner? Do you remember that? Yeah. Did she show up or? Well, no, 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 she didn't. But you remember how Vincent was going on and on about how he was so heartbroken that Valerie didn't love him and, you know, he was going to lose her? <laughs> it was just a joke. I mean, it, the whole thing was just a big lie. Vincent's been cheating on her the whole time. Does she know? Yeah, she does now. I told her. And she's completely devastated. I just, I, I don't get why men have to be such pigs sometimes, you know? I, I don't know. I mean, Vincent's a tabloid reporter, so I never really completely trusted him. But I didn't take him for being a total jerk. I brought us something good to drink. <sighs> Thank you. You know what? Thank you very much, but I, I really have to get going. Chad didn't want me to leave tonight anyway. Okay. Mm. Thank you for coming by. Yeah. You be careful, okay? Okay. You too. Both of you. Feeling better? Actually, yeah. You know, I told Whitney that um, I want to end my marriage to Jared so that I can be with you. And it felt good to say it out loud. Suddenly, I, I feel much better myself, actually. Poor Jared. He has no idea that Teresa may do the same thing to him that I'm about to do to Fox. He's such a nice guy. I hope he can deal with it. Dad, don't worry. I've got the part of the self-sacrificing, terminally ill patient down pat. Just take this stuff and uh, don't leave. Yeah, I've got right. it all down. Mm -hmm. I want you to get some rest while you're at it, and uh, I'll uh, hang around the hospital for a bit longer. probably isn't the best time to tell you this, but I, I can't put it off any longer. I have to be honest with you. Thanks, Alice, for watching Miles at the last second. Goodbye. Okay. No word from Chad. Could he still be at the office this late? Babe, I was, I was just about to call you. Hey, the meeting ran a little late. I thought you'd be sleeping. Actually, I decided to see Teresa after all. I, I just wanted to make sure she was okay, babe. Baby, you shouldn't be driving with the medicine your mother gave you. I know, but I took a taxi cab both ways, okay? Don't be angry. Hey, I'm fine. I'm home safe and sound. <laughs> okay, so how's she doing? She's upset, but you know, um, she's gonna pull through. She's determined to clear Luis and Miguel's name and get them out of prison, so... Has Ethan going to file uh, appeals in both cases? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. And he was actually there when I got there. Still is. At this hour? Yeah. Huh. Apparently, they've decided to stay together. Wait, but... <laughs> Teresa just married Jerry. I know, I know. And she's going to tell him about it as soon as she can. Oh, that poor guy is going to take this pretty hard. Are you sure Teresa knows what she's doing? Well, I talked to her about it. I mean, believe me, I tried to talk to her about the whole thing, but, you know, she's determined. She's made up her mind. Is she going to tell Ethan that little Ethan's his son? She has no plans of doing that. I don't see how this is going to work out. Well, neither do I, honestly. I mean, 
I just really hope things start getting better for the people that we care about, you know? I, I just don't understand how things have gotten so crazy. It's like we aren't even in control of our own lives anymore. I've got the other one. Meet you there. Oh, unless you want to be a no-show and have all hell break loose in your life by morning. But I am glad that things are working out for us. I don't know what I would do if things went wrong. I just, um, I just wish I knew who this Black Miller person was, Ethan, I do. It's like they, they, they're watching everything that we do. It's like they have eyes and ears everywhere. You know what, you know what, you know what? Sooner or later, this, this, this creep, he's going to screw up. And when he does, I'm going to get him. And that's going to be the day when your brothers walk out of jail, I promise you. Thank you. I don't want to talk anymore about this creep. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> You just never learn from your mistakes, do you?